let's talk about Pride. Uh, because this is something that for a lot of people who aren't involved in the community don't necessarily understand it and I know that heterosexual Pride Day um, hashtag was, I'm pretty sure it was intended as a joke at first but everything blows up on Twitter doesn't it? I'm just going to talk about why Pride is important because it is important. On Stonewall's website there is a link called LGBT Facts and Figures. I am going to point out two of those, two which I think are already enough to make you think twice about why Pride is important. <laughs> More than 17 women of colour who are trans have been murdered in the US this year alone. 48% of trans people have said that they have attempted suicide before. 48, that is half. How can one in two trans people try to kill themselves at some stage in their life? Almost 50%, almost half of all trans people to say that they have attempted suicide before. Me being in that 50%, almost 50%. There are 73 countries where it is illegal to have sex with someone of the same gender. And in 10 of those countries it is punishable by death, meaning that 400 million people live in a country where you can have sex with someone of the same gender and get killed for it. 400 million people. I need pride because I wasn't surprised when I had a bottle thrown at me on the street. I need pride because I was surprised when I was holding my girlfriend's hand on the street and a group of tourists didn't say anything. No snarky comments, no nothing. That genuinely shook me. <laughs> I need pride because I wouldn't be surprised if I had to live my life hidden. That doesn't mean I'm going to, but when you are queer, um, telling people this can it doesn't have to be bad, and it definitely isn't a lot of the time, and that's wonderful and how it should be because it really isn't that big a deal. But also telling some people could be life-changing, it could be harmful, it could be what keeps you in a home or not, it could be you getting a salary or not getting a salary because I think a lot of people assume that, oh no, you can't, of course you can't legally discriminate against this group of people. They can't lose their job because of it, they can't lose their home because of it, of course they can. We, st we still live in that world, we're changing, but we still live in that world. And it should be the biggest lie to say that most people's, most queer people's decisions aren't influenced by their identity. I couldn't tell you that you build yourself a wall. I need pride because I don't want to keep on building that wall. I'm making... <sighs> I need pride because I wouldn't be surprised if my family didn't take it well. And that doesn't mean my direct family. It just means anybody who I've known my whole life. It is just an identity and it is nothing else. <laughs> but that's not the harsh reality. The harsh reality is that for some people that is the turning point for whether they decide to talk to you again and of course you're not going to want to talk to somebody who doesn't accept you that doesn't mean it's easy <laughs> I need pride because I don't want my identity to influence in every decision I make for the rest of my life pride isn't a nice big celebration with lots of rainbows and lots of glitter and lots of loud gay people screaming about something and being drunk and being happy and yeah it is that for that day and it's absolutely lovely and I I couldn't be more thankful for that day honestly but it's because for a second we don't have to think about that and obviously this isn't all we think about but it's because people have died and will die and people have fought and will fight and the places who have these pride parades have fought and have succeeded and their goal or are in the process of succeeding or are still fighting and that's why they need it. It isn't a big celebration, it's a fight and although sometimes it may not seem like it, maybe in a big <laughs> pride parade like the London one, it may not seem like we're fighting for anything anymore but there's always something to fight for. And that doesn't mean you can't celebrate at the same time, it doesn't have to be that deep. 
But at the end of the day, it's all about the vibe.